Hey guys, happy week two of distance learning. Um, I decided to take social distancing to the extreme and went to outer space. Um, whatever, this is super dorky, but I thought it was kind of fun. Um, so today is Monday, um, April 6th. And I just wanna go through what you can expect this week. And then at the very end, there'll be a little assignment for you again. Um, so we only have school Monday through Thursday because Good Friday is um, our day off. So you don't have to check in at all on that day. Um, today, um, well this week, still we're gonna work on Sarah and a Star, okay? Uh, tomorrow we'll go live again, just like we did last week. Uh, fourth hour, we will meet at 10.30 and seventh hour will meet at 1.30. So that's just on Tuesdays. We're gonna keep it to every Tuesday at those times. Um, and hopefully that'll be something you can remember. Uh, tomorrow during that time, uh, we're actually gonna do a little bit of a, a speaking lesson where I will say some sentences in Spanish and you'll have to write them down. Uh, kind of like we would do in class. We're gonna see how that goes. Um, Wednesday is gonna be your work time. And if you look at the posts, I haven't done it yet, it's actually Thursday when I'm recording this, okay, but it's Wednesday or what day? Monday when you're watching, okay. Um, but on the posts in your teams, you're going to see a calendar for week two. So on that calendar, it's going to tell you that there's a SARE and a STAR Practico assignment, and that's up in, ooh, there's my wall, that's up in teams up at the top. So if you have an assignment, remember in teams, please do it and resubmit it in teams, okay. So the Sarah and a Star practice is a Word document that you just have to edit and then resubmit via Teams. Uh, and then there's also going to be a link that I found online. There's a whole bunch of free um, resources to us teachers right now that we usually have to pay for. And I found this one that it's, it's usually a hundred bucks a month. Well, I didn't pay a hundred bucks a month for it, um, but it's free. So I linked it to this page. It's got a whole series of like 30 different examples of Sarah and a Star. So all I'd like you to do is to read through it, scroll, scroll through, read some of the examples, um, get more examples of how to use Sarah and a Star. Um, towards the top of that link, there is a video. I think it's four minutes. Um, it's always good to hear someone else explain a content. So if you would watch the video, read through the link and then at the very bottom there's some practice um, some practice things that you can you can do uh, then the assignment portion of that after you've kind of spent some time in that link is just to write three interesting things that you learned from that link and to do that i'm going to have you open a word document type them up and then resubmit it to the assignments at the top of teams Okay, so that'll be Wednesday and Thursday. You'll have work time again. On Thursday, we'll check in with a little chat, um, and then Friday's nothing, okay? So again, to recap, and this will be posted within the posts of Teams, if you're confused. I know there's been some confusion, but today your assignment is obviously to watch this video. I will have um, something at the very end for you to post or to do, like to type up on Word and submit as an assignment. Tomorrow we'll go live at 10.30 for fourth hour, 1.30 for seventh hour. Wednesday and Thursday are work times. So you don't necessarily have to check in, but you do have to submit by Thursday at 11.59 your Sarah and the Star Practico. And um, there's a Sarah and the Star link that I'm gonna post um, within the assignment. So those are all in Teams this week. There's nothing really in Moodle. Um, I want to do a quiz on vocab, but I'm still trying to decide how to do that. So quizzes, we're going to save until next week. Um, it could be something that we do even Tuesday in our live chat somehow, uh, and that'll be on the edificios. So the edificios, the buildings on your blue unit four vocab sheet, that's still a good thing for you to be working through, Quizlet and all that good stuff. Okay, so. Uh, in terms of today's assignment, what I want you to do is to just look around your house, okay, and give me two examples of using SARE, ooh, that's kind of fun, and two examples of using a star, okay? So as I look around right now, I would say La Planta, there's a plant over there, La Planta es verde, okay? I'm using es because it's green, it's a color. Uh, as I look outside, I would say esta nublado. It is cloudy. That's weather, so I use a star. 
Um, what else do I see over there? There's Blake's shoes over there. Zapatos son grandes. His shoes are big. That's son because it's physical characteristics. And let's see, what else for Estar? Well, Estoy and Mi Casa. I'm in my house. That's my location. Okay. So what I want you to do right now is just look around your house, write up two sentences using ser and two using a star like I just did. If you're stumped on what to do, take a look at your reasons for ser and a star. Okay. Pick two. You can tell me your hair color, your nationality, your profession, your, you know, color of your shirt, whatever for ser. For a star, it can be your location, how you're feeling, the weather, all the things. So two ser, two a star. Ooh, I lost my neck there. Ooh, that's fun. Okay, I got distracted. Two ser, two a star. Type them up on a Word document, okay? And then um, put them on the assignments to this assignment, to this video assignment. And this is going to be due um, at 11.59 tonight, okay? Then we'll see you all tomorrow, fourth hour at 11.30. 7th hour at 1.30. If you have questions, use the chat function on the left of Teams or email me, shmayj at hayfield.k12.mn.us. Okay, we'll see you all tomorrow. Adios!